yeah. Hey. What's going on YouTube? Sneaky Scavenger here doing another review for you guys. I uh, pulled out a few Air Jordan 9s and I uh, was just going to do a quick review on this shoe. It comes out Saturday, April 5th I believe. Yeah, it's released April 5th. And uh, I was really excited about the pickup. Uh, I'll talk about it why in a few minutes. But um, let's get right into it. The box heads. There you go, guys. And there it is. You have yourself the Air Jordan Barons 9. Real clean shoe, real clean colorway. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, one of the only times you'll ever get to see a general release uh, Air Jordan with the number 45 in the back. And I mean, you've seen like the 11s with um, like the samples with the 45 on there. The 10s have a 45 on there, I believe, too. But uh, the 9s came out when he was retired and he's playing baseball, as we all know. He took a hiatus, a hiatus from basketball and wants to play some. A baseball with uh, wasn't a good look for him. That was just some glue I just pulled off of there, guys. Sorry, <laughs> but um, I like the nine uh, for a couple reasons. Just that uh, it was following the eight, and um, I was a big fan of the eight because I got it in, in third grade. I'll never forget the day I got the shoe. And um, this particular colorway, as you can see, I mean, I like. You know, I always like that they throw the, the uh, white outsole on there. Uh, the mids always look pretty, pretty cool to me. And um, you have a, a gray. Um, it's, a, it's a full grain, but uh, it's, it's, it's all right. It's got a little like sparkly um, effect on it, as you, as you can see with some of the uh, other nines. If you guys have nines, you know what I'm talking about. There's like a little like glitter effect on that panel there and all the nines except for like obviously the uh, the cool grays and some of the other colorways that released um, this has always been probably the worst part of the nine that that uh that on the upper it's always been trash but uh still you know well, what do you expect in a Jordan brand uh, I like how they did a, a lot of things different on this shoe they gave you a nice uh, liner there see if I get you guys in there See that? Remember this was like the Barons, the team that Michael, that Michael uh, played for, and he was number 45 when he played for the Barons. Uh, I just tried these on. Nine's always pretty weird to put on, um, just because of that inner sock line. I like the eights. It, it really just the. The, the way, where your foot's sitting in does not connect to the actual outer of the shoe. You know, it's like they hit me like a booty. Just like the eight to booty and then you have your, the, uh, the outer portion of the shoe which is not connected. Except for the bottom, but you know, most, <laughs> barely. You can see guys, yeah. Look at your nines real close, you'll see what I'm talking about. And you have your regular Air Jordan there on the tongue. But it's a clean colorway. I like it. You know, I picked it up. No questions asked. This is a 3M hit on the pull tab. That's something else uh, I haven't seen on, on Air Jordan 9 as of yet. One thing I will tell you that the upper here on the on the the nines that that I one of my one of my favorite all-time nines. These are uh, from 2010. Yeah, these are pretty old. I actually bought these in Puerto Rico. This colorway and then brought it back without the box. There's no space for it. But um, I had these when they retroed um, in the early 2000s. Can't remember what year exactly, but I had them. My brother-in-law, like, I'm gonna say stole them. He stole them and left me a pair of uh, Barkley CB94s. And I know, I know, that's one of Zay's favorite sneakers. I thought it was trash. I was like, how do you compare CB94 to Air Jordan? Like any Air Jordan. My opinion is not, you know, it's just above the rest of, of, at the time especially, I felt this way, but uh, I was just angry. And I like trashed CB94, the tongue was all flapping back there. I mean, not the tongue, the, the also was flapping back here, yeah, threw it out. But um, yeah, these are definitely uh, one of my favorite colors of the nines. 
I tell you one thing, they went real, real cheap on the perforations. Even though these things don't really serve um, much of a purpose, but uh, there's perforations on, on this upper, on those little like diamond cuts. There's perforations there. They actually remind me of little baseball fields, sort of. But um, there's perforations there. But this, the newest release of the nine, there's not one. There isn't one. Here. Kinda got it on these. Here and there on, on what is it, Fonte Montana's. And these are pretty sick too. They are down here. Yeah, this is a new book. Has them. Cool grays. Yeah, here and there. Not, not much on the perforation inside there. But um, as you guys all know, Michael Jordan's number was 23. He retired, he put on number 45. Um, he played for the Barons, that's why they put that number there. But I would say guys, uh, I know these are gonna be slept on. I know, I know they're gonna be slept on. Everybody's crazy about the ones because they're limited and blah, blah, blah. Uh, again, if I can get my hands on the ones, great. If I can't, boo hoo, sad story, you know what I mean? It's not a big deal to me. But um, get them because you, you, you'll almost never see a 45 on an Air Jordan. And the fact that they did these and they put them on, on general release, um, this meant a lot to me. I, you know, I always wanted an Air Jordan with a 45 on there because I watched him play with the number 45. I know he came back. Uh, he found it to be like a bad luck number for him. So he switched back to 23. But um, this was his brother's number when they were in like high school. And he wanted to be like half of his brother, which is almost uh, 23 is almost half 45. We, I actually know it's not, but um, that's how they came up with that number. But um, he switched back to 23 uh, during the playoffs uh, while he was wearing the uh, the Concord 11s, which he wasn't really supposed to be wearing. But he switched back to 23 because he found that it was a better version of himself. So these were like bad luck for him. That number was like bad luck for him. But um, yeah, I mean. I like the nines. I always like when he switch up the numbers, and um, you also see it on on the Kilroys. They were just, just the four. You know, Kilroy kicks butt on the tongue there. And yeah, guys, thank you to, to everybody for tuning in. Thank thank you for all the new subscribers. I really appreciate um, you guys staying. Uh, you know with me and then believe me these videos will get better and uh just you know like comment subscribe guys thank you for everything thank you for the time thank you for you know um putting up with my 10 minute videos every time and i appreciate it guys i really really appreciate it believe me i really really appreciate it see you guys soon